Hello everyone, this is Ginger Pana. Welcome back to my channel. Today I would like to share with you some handmade projects that I completed for my swap with Jennifer, who is crafting sweetness here on YouTube and Instagram. We are on a one-on-one -on -one swap and we have different components to our swap. I'm loading um, the video separately because um, I don't want it to be really long. I wanted to spend some time in sharing um, the things that I made so that you know, Jennifer can understand where um, my inspiration came from. Okay, so here it goes. Let's do these three <clears throat> first. Um, in this video, I'm going to share my memory decks cards. We had to do a fall and a summer. And um, I made something extra, which is an embellishment shaker envelope book. Um, I think it's called a shaker envelope binder something like that I got my and I'll share my inspiration where I got that from okay so first off all of you um, are into memory decks cards um, Jennifer is too and so I made two memory decks cards one is a fall my fall one is very dimensional I think this is my first heavily dimensional memory decks card I have I think this rosette really popped everything up so I just used a basic shape here you, as you can see and I um, put designer paper here and here so I think they are two different designer papers most of my papers that I'm using came from the simple life which is from Jen Hatfield I think Jennifer sent it to me um, <clears throat> previously she likes you know she gets a lot of things from me from Tuesday morning since I don't have one here this is a chipboard um, from the chipboard set as well so I have this bird here with this flower acorn flower and leaves I layered it up on um, some leaves that I found at my local craft specialty store it's just this this um, fabric key maple leaf I did a crepe paper pumpkin here in the back with some tulle here is a rosette. I put a cut apart here. You can never have too much happy. And I did put some leaf trim in the back here as well. Okay, so this is my fall memory decks card. And on the back, I had this chipboard piece and it kind of go I put it right in the back. This is not chipboard. This is just a, a ephemera from the ephemera pack. So it's just thankful for our friendship. Can I put the date? Okay, so this is my fall memory decks card. My second one is a summer. We have to do a summer because we started to plan our swap um, in the summertime. And now it's already November. And I'm sorry, Jennifer, it's my fault that I am so late. Um, this is a circle memory decks card. So as you can see back here, it's a circle shape. And I found this at a, another local um, craft store, and I think it's you know the um, I think it's Quick Cuts is the brand of this circle die. So I saw it there and I purchased it because I thought it was a circle and it was very interesting. Okay, so again I used some ephemera pieces, and this is from uh, this is from another paper line. I don't remember which paper line I would have to look I just grabbed all kind of papers out so there's a lot of bling on here so it's kind of shiny so I layered it not as much as the fall one but I wanted to bring in some yellows and pink some fun summer colors I guess towards the end of summer when fall is gonna start so I have a bicycle here best day ever sticker a butterfly that I made from punches this is a um, bling bow with a, another bling heart and I have some trim here in the back from my stash there is a crepe paper rosette back here okay and then when you turn it around I have another chipboard piece and it just says summer fun and so this is just um, something to remember our swap by so you can add this to your collection and I have some pom-pom trim going around too in yellow oh and here from the same 
mint color heart I have two puffy sequin um, puffy glitter hearts here on the spokes of the wheel okay so that is my summer memory decks card this one um, the the memory decks cards were part of our swap these are just extras um, I buy a lot of digital paper and one of the digital papers I bought had this um, scenery of these pumpkins in this bucket and so when I printed it I think I printed it came out in four so I thought oh maybe I can make some cards so I think these are four by four cards I did a topper with the pumpkin again that everyone's making the rosettes with the recollections nesting pumpkins and I put um, another pumpkin of mine that I made it's using oval punches another piece from the cut apart and some sequin maple leaves here and then when you open it here are my cards so they're all the same they just have different sayings in the middle and they might have a different color leaf here so I didn't embellish it as much because I wanted to keep it flat in case you wanted to put an envelope and mail it or gift it and I thought the um, the scenery of these pumpkin in the bas buckets were really pretty so I just put um, this is basil orange kind of shimmery cardstock I put another um, cardstock here I think this is designer paper and then I put the cut apart and then I just glued the leaf on the bucket and put a gold sticker saying for my stash and inside I just continued another um, piece of cardstock this is 110 cards cardstock just plain it's kind of off-white vanilla color and then that's it I need to get a sticker or a name thing for my cards okay here's the other one it says hello and this one says loving this right now and the last one is I think I did this one. live each day with your whole heart okay and then I made um, well that this is the paper that's behind each cut apart it's this checkered one and I just made envelopes for each one and so this is just um, you take off this the two-way tape and you can seal your envelope so it's just plain and she can decorate the envelopes further if she wants to or even the cards if she wants to okay so that is my card set <clears throat> and put that on the side now last but not least for this video share I made a a shaker envelope binder and I got my um, inspiration and tutorial from Michelle who is Michelle's little creations here on YouTube I will link her video below and she got her inspiration from the vintage goose and the vintage goose calls her I think it's a share that she made for a crafter and it's entitled envelope book and so I um, recreated it I made another using the tutorial and the measurements I made another set of these and I'll link my video below it was for a group swap that I was participated in recently this one I wanted the book bigger because I wanted to put um, the things that I wanted to put in here were a little bit bigger so I altered the size so these are five I started out with the envelopes they're five by seven and so I created my acetate cover um, accordingly I just brought the measurements out and um, went from there and so I bound it with this cording I sewed it um, and I put shaker bits in it Okay, this is a mix that I made and so I use this mix throughout my entire swap okay and then these um, pieces are from Target they came in a bucket 
And this is from the ephemera chipboard that I received as part of the paper pack from Tuesday morning. And these are just some glitter leaves and acorns. Now this time I put, I sewed a pocket in here and I, I'm not sure if one of the girls um, showed how to put a pocket in it, but I just cut an extra piece of acetate and I sewed all the layers together. So there is a pocket here. So I put some cut aparts here. And I didn't, I have another one here. I just didn't want to take away from the cover and all its shaker um, glory. So I did this way. Um, let's see, what else did I do? My other video, I made the seams on the bottom. This time I made at the top. Um, you know, it's sometimes it's really hard to sew straight, but I think it adds, um, it adds something when you can sew a little wonky. Okay, so it doesn't have to be perfect. So there are five envelopes in here, and each one I just decorated it flat with this cut apart and some trim. So this one looks like this, the first envelope. So this is all from the Jen Hatfield Simple Life paper pack and in here I just gifted her some of the maple leaves that I use throughout these um, the my makes okay so I just gave her a little bit of everything okay and this one it says thank you very much it's an herbal cut apart with a butterfly that I punched they're all held together by velcro in here I gifted her some organza bags in fall colors so there's green orange and brown and this one says keep life simple and in here I gifted her some stickers that I found this is from Target it's like an autumn sticker set there's two sheets in here and here are some pics that I had from my stash and then this one has this cut apart on it and I embellish it with some chipboard pieces okay, and in each of the flower I put a um, uh, a bling an enamel dot that's glittery so in here I gifted her some of these felt pieces that I purchased at Target. It was in a pack. This is a pineapple clip and a fox dye. I think it's a fox or is it a raccoon? I think you can do either one. Maybe it's a raccoon. I'm not sure. Um. I know there is a lot of inspiration on YouTube and in Pinterest using that dye. It's a dye from Ali. Okay, this one says plant smiles, grow laughter, harvest love. So this is very simple, just with a boot chipboard. And in this one, I gifted her a stamp set. So this is a Darcy's Heart and Home. It's, it's so cute. It's a fall stamp. Look at that. So cute. Okay, and then um, this piece, I'm not too sure if you're familiar with the Darcy's um, stamp sets, but they also come with embellishments. So it's a flat back tin pin. So what you do is you stamp this out and you color it. And then for an added dimension, the face pops on right on top of the stamped image so you kind of have a popped up face look it's really cute okay and then the design continues off of the pin okay so i hope you can play around with this if not this year you can save it for next year and that is my embellishment book so in the back i also made a another pocket here and this is the back Okay, so same thing, it has all the shaker goodies and some ephemera pieces in here. And this is the binding that I did. 
Okay, Jennifer, I hope you enjoy your little book. Um, you can use the goodies in it and reuse the book to put in whatever you want to or re-gift it. Thank you everyone for coming to uh, see me again on my channel and I will see you really soon. Have a nice long weekend. This is Veterans Day weekend and so I have an extra day off and um, I've been busy. I have a lot of things going on right now um, with my parents and they're okay. They're just needing um, tending to and my time which I don't mind giving at all. And so I will come back and share another component of our swap. Take care, everyone. Love you. Bye.